Hi everyone, I am Vinayak. Welcome to my channel Wins Videos. Please subscribe, hit thumbs and share if you like this video. Today we are going to review what are the features in MI UI 9 developer ROM 7.9.8 for Redmi 3S Prime. Let's see. I'm going to uh, settings and about phone and here you can see the MIUI version is uh, 7.9.8 beta that is developer ROM and but here we are still on the Android version 6.0.1 which is Marshmallow so we are not got the Android Nougat version here so that is 7 uh, still we have to wait I guess and even the security patch is also very old one let's see the update so here you see there is one more up update is available today's uh, update it's supposed to come in the friday morning or uh, before uh, af afternoon or something like that but still it did not come so now it just came around uh, 10 o'clock night so here we can see the icon MIUI 9 that is a change we will see how to update and all to the latest version later in this video we are going to cover uh, what are all the animations when un un uninstalling the application that changes what are the live icons and uh, what are the lock screen shortcuts and home screen settings widget wallpaper and themes what is the notification folder that we are going to see and key and gesture sh gesture shortcuts that's we are going to see and uh, uh, what happens when the app uh, locked app is opened and what is the uh, change we can see that we are going to uh, see in this video also we will be seeing uh, the application the apps the security apps what is the change mail app what is the change and what happened to what happens to the yamai pix app let's see one by one so overall yamai 9 is customized uh, optimized customized totally and it is the app, apps are uh, loading very fast opening is fast closing is fast and bit animation is also there that also we'll see so basically <coughs> this update is uh, about all the animation how the uh, uh, layout is designed that all we can see so first I come to the animation so if you see this uh, animation these are very sl uh, smooth and opening apps and all it is also very smooth very fast it will be open The animation as well and here uh, one thing when I am going to uninstall one application that time you can see what is the animation so here I am I see a LinkedIn uh, app is there so that I am going to uninstall it just press and hold and drag to the trash icon so click on uninstall so this is animation we can see so this is a uh, nice I see this is animation animation while deleting any uninstalling any application so this is uh, nice so live icons if you see <coughs> uh, camera and if you go back you can see the animation here once again we'll try we see again see here the app, app icon it again the it is animated so live icon the same thing happens when you open the music app can see so here uh, once again one more thing is uh, lock screen shortcuts so lock screen shortcuts they have given if you if it is locked and if you swipe you can see uh, my home uh, my remote and torch toggling on and off so this is one more uh, extra they have given so for uh, unlocking the screen the 
the pattern remains same there is no much uh, uh, changes in this one and <clears throat> in the home screen next comes to the home screen like if you see the time and the weather uh, that widget is there it is a bit above compared to the previous one and next we see the home screen settings there are two ways to go to the home screen settings one is press and hold the recent menu and you see settings widgets and wallpapers if you go to the settings you can see what are the transition effects say so what is the how to set the default screen and fill the empty uh, cells if you are installing any new applications like that and uh, lock home screen layout so once it is enabled you can't move or uh, place it somewhere else so you can see home screen is locked so i will disable it again more is a one more option where it will go to the actual settings tab under that home screen and recent nothing uh, more extra properties we can set here other than default launcher you can set the default launcher apart from that one nothing else is there and for the widget you can click on this one and you can see there is a widget changes is there in previous version MIUI 8 there will be a bottom row where you can you have to select widgets but here it's uh, uh, neatly uh, given and classified categorized and the wallpapers <coughs> wallpaper here also it is changed so recently used system plus animals building etc etc and find more so here this is this is this is the same app when you open from the themes or this one and he, here you can see this is a home what is the recommended themes and all and here it comes wallpaper and all you can select anything and you can preview it and you can apply apply for only lock screen or home screen or set both there is not not much changes but only this uh, bottom menu is applied over here we'll come back to this one again the other way to open uh, home screen setting is two finger zoom in so you can go to that one again you have to zoom out two finger zoom out so again it will be in the normal mode home screen so here one more thing is uh, how to set the homes home screen so whenever you go to the settings and set default so you can select which one is you want it as a home screen that's pretty easy next comes notification folder so notification folder if you go to the in settings notification and status bar you can see there is one more option notification folder by default first time when you install this uh, developer ROM it will be disabled just enable it and there will be an option uh, you will get to put any application notifications under this notification folder which are uh, not that much important and you want to keep it in same for example if you see here notification folder is there is a one notification if you touch it you will get to know something some messages are there unimportant notification put and if you want to go to this one here you can change the location recommended so this will be recommended and there won't be any notification for this
so there is no any much animation here uh, while swiping it out or this one so this is what the notification folder uh, uh, changes they have provided here under notification and bar notification bar folder nothing else more uh, options are given here so remains uh, the other things are settings are remain same so i'm going back to the next point if you go to the additional settings <coughs> under uh, under settings so you can see one more extra option they have given is uh, in the key and gesture shortcuts so here uh, you can select the camera and you can set the predefined gesture and key like a double click power button so if you double click the power button the camera camera will open so this is how we can set by default it will be null you can select any whatever whichever is convenient for you that you can select not only they, there are uh, launch camera uh, launch google screen go to sleep touch on torch close current app show menu there are uh, these are uh, previous one if you want to change you can change it but the new one is uh, this and whatever which i have shown just now so assume that you have uh, some uh, application you have locked uh, so that time it will give you the uh, if you want to open that application you can see fingerprint uh, icon here which will indicate that this application is locked so for example here i have locked whatsapp gallery message etc etc so if i if i open them it will show me this lock screen so where it it is sh it shows this uh, uh, fingerprint image like this in the recent uh, menu uh, there is no much change over here everything is uh, same no changes you can delete this one and one more thing if you are not aware just press and keep it down and you will get the lock option and info option info option give you about the uh, application details and uh, the lock it will be locked this application if you close uh, by uh, hitting this into mark so it will close just but other than this one locked systems this one is uh, the uh, layout change there is no uh, much difference over here but here uh, if it was on uh, Android 7 based uh, MIUI 9 then we will be having uh, multi screen multi uh, split screen option over here in the top but this is still based on the Android 6 so uh, there is no option of having it anyways so the mark animation remains same everything is remaining same so we'll go to the next one uh, some apps are changed like uh, security app if you see this is much uh, cleaner and simpler compared to the previous and uh, here boost speed is one extra one is added here it will uh, boost the speed it says nice animation though and uh, other things are remain same security scan everything remains same battery usage i don't see any uh, much difference over here uh, since uh, 
four five days it's uh, as usual uh, no more change on this one the other things remain same app lock deep clean etc etc they have made this this layout uh, much more simpler and uh, clean compared to the old one and there is a mail uh, one more app is there this mail given by this one uh, by default not the google this is a, a mail application here they have changed the the whole layout it is simplified one and if you see uh, anything uh, over here so previously it used to come some uh, menus at the bottom now it is on the top reply reply all forward delete etc so everything is here so this is a change they have made and here also you can select uh, uh, other uh, emails if you have set any other mailbox account here this 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 is a totally simplified one and nice one and to create a new mail uh, you just have to touch this one and just start uh, composing the mail this is one mail you had you are uh, uh, total you are uh, ui is uh, layout is changed for this one and one more application was there which was called as yamapix now it is called as only apps where you can see uh, multiple applications uh, for uh, recommended for uh, indians this is basically for uh, india so you can see over here so again the menu is to come to the bottom so usually so next comes this update how to upgrade to the next one so if, if you open the update applications and you can go to uh, uh, this part or download update you can choose the update uh, update package uh, if you have downloaded uh, directly from uh, yamai website and uh, uh, saved in your uh, mobile and you can choose that uh, rom also and you can start up updating so here uh, today we, the update is available 7.9.15 uh, i'm not sure only here it is mentioned themes and camera and scanner uh, fixes not sure whether it is uh, it will bring the no, uh, android 7 update as well so how to update just uh, go to update app and click on check for the update if update is available just click on the update and it will download and it will ask for the reboot once it is rebooted uh, you will be having latest uh, uh, developer rom over here in next video i can i will uh, uh, show you the uh, if there is any other uh, features available or it is whether it is upgraded to the android 7 or not we'll see if you see the uh, forum app and change log for the 7.15 release here it is only mentioned the same uh, updates what is new in change log and everything is uh, provided in the full change log the same is uh, displayed in the update logger and yeah i have seen some comments uh, from the users that saying they are saying that there is no uh, and that seven is uh, mentioned uh, still we are going to use uh, and what six on the still it is uh, on android 6 let me update uh, upgrade and see what is uh, this one before going to that i want I, i will tell you how to update the themes so here you see uh, the last icon this is a person uh, local offline 
uh, themes you can see here I have eight themes 19 wallpaper ringtones etc etc I'll go to the themes this will tell you the this will show you the one default theme and one limitless theme the others uh, theme or uh, whatever I have downloaded that one so I will go for uh, limitless it's very nice uh, just select it and apply it So you can see this is a really very beautiful and let me change the wallpaper as well so recently used I will go I have used this one and preview it apply it to the both lock screen and home screen that's it it's a really nice beautiful so icons got changed but note that for live icon this uh, other than the default theme uh, no other theme supports the live icons so if you want to change wallpaper the same thing directly you can go from the recent menu uh, by pressing and holding shortcuts home screen shortcuts from there also or from theme application also you can go and uh, change the wallpaper and this is a ringtones you can download set it up and this comes for all the fonts if you want to change customize your fonts of the phone entire phone uh, uh, fonts will get changed whatever whichever you selected over here and the third comes the offline so here you can select whatever you have downloaded or selected like that so I have one font downloaded just you need to select and apply the same goes for ringtone that's it yeah this settings is also uh, one extra i guess so in this one use theme ringtones show terms of use etc etc is there so i think if the theme is uh, uh, set so only that ringtone is uh, played when you are uh, getting any calls so I'm not sure whether it, this was uh, previously available or not and here also you can see uh, lock screen we can change it to the other from the other themes as well so this is how uh, status bar icons messaging dial pad favorite tray so this is all we you can customize and even one more option you can see here backup theme so whatever the theme you have selected that settings will be uh, saved that's it from my end and let's see what are the changes we get over here in this one i will reboot it and i will get get back to you with a, a review of this latest uh, developer rom 7.9.15 till then bye bye thank you